Of course it's Apogee Software. G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix, and I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember, we're taking a look at the first, very first, episode of Commander Keen. This one's called Marooned on Mars, released in 1990, published by Apogee Software and developed by id Software. Id Software, of course, being the guys who are behind Doom, Quake, and uh, Wolfenstein. So they're probably one of the biggest DOS developers that are actually still around these days. And this is an extremely popular old game. Uh, it was um, one of what I mentioned as being the so-called trifecta of behemoths in DOS games, which in my opinion are probably the three most recognized video games uh, on DOS ever. The other two being uh, Duke Nukem and to a lesser extent, Jazz Jackrabbit. But that's just my opinion, don't like say, hey, Fancy Felix told me that these are the three biggest dust games of all time. I'm like, whoa, 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 slow down, buddy. It's just my opinion, okay? Don't hold me to this. So yeah, I, I haven't actually played this much f for myself. When I was young, I played it maybe twice. So I don't remember much about it at all. I just remember, yeah, I just remember stomping on those guys' heads because it's funny and they get all dizzy. Um, also, these guys can't actually hurt you either. They're so lovable. They just, like, kind of want to love you and cuddle you, but they just push you around and then stand there and do a little dance. Except they can kill you by pushing you into what they have, whatever that was. I'm, I'm going to call those, like, clams or oysters or something. I'm not sure what the lollipops do, if they are lollipops, uh, I think they just give you points, I don't think they're necessary to collect. Uh, here we get a gun. By the way, I can jump with control, move left and right with the arrow keys, and to fire the gun, took me a while to figure it out, is uh, to press control and alt at the same time. Now, that's a weird little uh, piece of controller mapping, isn't it? Control and alt at the same time fires your gun if you have a gunshot. So one of the coolest things about Commander Keen is it gives you a choice of where to go at many points. See at this point I have a choice of like four different levels I can go to. I don't know, let's go into this TP looking thing. Okay, what's this? Alright, I got a thing. Actually I think that is a pogo stick which is a uh, the second of Commander Keen's tools, the first being the gun, of course. Uh, so these TP things aren't full levels, I guess. They're just little rooms or challenges or something. Like, what's in here? And I always had a bit of a problem with controlling Keen. He kind of uh, jumps in a very floaty fashion. It's hard to get used to, and it's really hard to do precise jumps like that one. You know what, I think I'm going to just give that level a miss and go to this main level here. I don't know what this is. Oh, so Keen is like a young boy, I think, named Billy, who assumes this identity of Commander Keen. So maybe this game is all in his imagination, but I think he's exploring... Oh my god, there's a horrible thing in there. He's exploring uh, Mars, I guess. Either in real life or in, in fantasy land. And he wears, like, some kind of football helmet for some reason. So yeah, he's a, a unique character, I suppose. Where's uh, the objective, by the way, if I didn't mention... Oh, there's a robot down there. Oh my god, there's a big angry green thing. Shit, that robot's shooting guns. Avoid that. And that thing looks hungry as hell. Stay away from him. As I was saying, the obje objective of each level is to simply get to the exit, I think. Sometimes it's easier than others, I think. Sometimes you need like a key to unlock it, or doors stand in your way which you need key cards for. Whoa! Damn it! And yeah, you die in one hit and then your body kind of compresses and then you fly away. Which is uh, unique, I guess. Huh. Alright, don't go in that yellow tube because there's a big pissed off green alien waiting for me. And there's a robot coming up here. Let's try and avoid that. No, stay away from me. 
You're not gonna get me. Oh yeah, I wonder how I use that pogo stick that I got. Oh, okay. Alt. Cool, so now I can jump extra high if I use my pogo stick. I don't know if you ever lose the pogo stick. I have a feeling you might lose it if you get hit while you're riding it. Oh no. Where is the exit in this level? So yeah, this was a very uh, appealing game for the time. Uh, for 1990, this is actually quite pretty, I think. I think, whoa, don't touch those greener seaweeds up there. Uh, whoa, okay, get away from you. I'm gonna pogo over him. Okay, and there's the exit, sweet. Well, that was easy. What's coming up here? Is this... Ah, teleporter. Let's go into these crystals. What's here? Ooh, it's like an ice world. What's this, a door? I don't know. There's a robot down there guarding the pizza. Uh, well, this is one of those green guys, but he's frozen and he's wearing, like, a, a hat? I don't know. Right, we've got a cannon here shooting ice blocks. Better make sure to avoid that. Yeah. I don't know what these cans of drink do either, if that's what they are. They look like Pepsi. Actually, I think they legitimately are Pepsi. If you look at them, you can half see a Pepsi logo. I wonder if uh, Pepsi was paying these guys any money for this. I doubt it. Whoa, okay. Oh, that's tricky. That's tricky. I didn't know you'd fall through the floor there. Let's get up here. Yeah. As you can probably guess, the ice floor is a bit slippery. Ugh. Hard to navigate. I don't know what that, is, that brown thing is there either. Looks like a book, but I'm not gonna risk trying to get that with that big pissed off green guy there. Ah, excuse me. I need some tasty water. Uh, what's up here? A giant ice block. Where's the exit? What's down here? I better regret. Yep, regret. Ah, back we go. How do I get to the exit? Oh, okay, not like that. Okay. Game over. Score 9300. Congratulations, you got first place. Wow, I'm the best out of everyone on this computer who's played this game ever. That's, uh, that's a little joke for you because I'm the only one who has. Continue which game? 1 to 9 or esque? That, oh, I haven't saved my game. I should have saved it. Crap! Well, I'm gonna just quickly breeze through this first level, and maybe we'll try a different sequence of levels, just so I can show you a little bit more stuff. I should probably actually show you the gun. Let's go fire this gun at something and see what happens. Let's kill some alien scum. I don't want to kill this guy, because he's so cute, but... But you're the only one here, buddy. Wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, look at him, he's a mangled wreck. So that's how your gun works. I don't know if you get a limited amount of shots. Four, five, okay. All right, I got five shots from picking up that laser gun. That information should come in handy. I wish it displayed on the screen how many shots you have, but what are you gonna do? What's up here? Not going in the teepees. Nope, I'm going into this giant uh, crash satellite or something. Yeah, we got a bunch of green guys, no. God, you're pissing me off. Got some pizza. Yeah, what's up here? More lollipops and soda cans. This game is so unhealthy, it sends a horrible message to today's youth. We should be taking this off shelves to fight the obesity epidemic in all the countries. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just passionate. What? Uh, what's... Over here, exit is generally to the right hand side of level. What is that? It's like an, a wolf zombie. Get away from me, wolf zombie. No, stop it. Yeah. Go away. Ah, whoa, I thought you'd fall down the hole. No, now he's chasing me back here again. Okay, he fell down. Good, good. Ain't got time for that. What's this? All right, a door. I guess I need a key for it. There's like a battery next to it, a car battery. Alright, fine. Um, where would I guess the key would be? 
Or key card, I think you need to use for those doors. Oh, yellow key, key card. That's exactly what I was after. Thank you. Let's go stick the thing in the hole. Oh, don't say it like that. Jesus God. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, wait. No, I need a red one. What am I thinking? Crap. Where do I get a red key card? I only have a useless yellow key card. This is so annoying. Little robot man there. Right, get some lollipops. I'm going to try and navigate my way across all these pink platforms and hope that there's a red keycard hiding at the end of them. I have no idea if it is or not though. I haven't played this game in like uh, 20 years. No it's not, it's just that book. I thought the screen might have gone a bit further. I am an idiot. Alright. I guess I need to use the red... Uh, stay away from you. The red keycard... I mean... Ah, I don't know what I'm saying. Yellow keycard to open the yellow door to get to the... Oh, okay, there's my door. How do I get to it? Oh, I gotta go all the way around. At least I got a gun. I can kill that wolf zombie. Come on, motherfucker. Come on. I hope he doesn't take more than one hit. Ah, eh. oh, crap. I think he takes more than one hit. Nope. Come on, die, damn it. Eh. Oh, no, I missed. I think I'm out of bullets. Shit. How many bullets do these freaks take? It's not fair. I only take one hit to die. Oh, okay. Get past this freak. Then we can make it to the exit. Come on. I'm gonna finish this before the video is done. Get up there, Keen. Up the steps. Oh, no, that wolf's back. Get away from me. Oh, God, he can jump way too high for his own good. Well, for my good, at least. I wonder if I can jump on the wolf head. Wolf's head. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. How do I get back? I've already forgotten. Oh, it's not this way, is it? Wait, it might be. Yeah. Wish I had my pogo stick. I should have gone back and got that first. But I'm not good at planning ahead. Uh, oh, no, you're going to make me go all the way around. I hate you. All right, avoid the clams. If that's what they even are, I don't know. They are happy looking clams. Happy as clams. <laughs> Get up there. No, stop pushing me around. I will not be pushed around by the likes of you. Come on, we're gonna get to the exit and then I'm gonna wrap this up. I don't mean to be terribly boring, I'm just giving you a play by play of what's going on, but. It's not too much to talk about. Okay, level complete. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I think I'll wrap it up here, but uh, uh, this was Commander Keen, a very, very, very popular, popular, popular and well-loved DOS title. I would recommend having a look at it yourself sometime. Maybe one day I'll look at the uh, sequels, but no promises. I don't know how much patience I have for this kind of thing, but we will see. Don't forget to cuddle that like button, and I will see you next time. Keep it fancy.